The Pyramid Stage's youngest ever headliner looks entirely at home, giving an imperious, hugely engaging performance. It's not just that Billie Eilish is, as she's keen to point out, the youngest headliner in Glastonbury's history, it's that she's the first mainstream pop star, as in the kind of pop star that teenage girls scream at, to headline Glastonbury. A few years ago, the announcement of an artist like that filling the main Friday night slot on the Pyramid stage would probably have generated a degree of controversy. Some Burke would have got up a petition about it. But in 2022, the appearance of Billie Eilish's name at the top of the bill passed without comment. Whether that's evidence that Glastonbury's audience is skewing younger, or that Glastonbury is becoming more pop-facing in the artists it books, or that Eilish is considered of a slightly different stripe to her peers, is an interesting question. Watching her bounce from the industrial electro-pop of You Should See Me in a Crown, to the kitschy lounge stylings of Billy's Bossa Nova, to the Beatles' Why Getting Older, to the Dr. Dre-influenced All the Good Girls Go to Hell, one is struck by the sense that she's certainly more musically eclectic than most of her peers. And if you get the impression that festivals aren't necessarily her natural habitat, you guys are troopers, with your tents and shit, she opines at one point, from the moment she appears, she looks entirely at home. While many of the artists who appear on the Pyramid stage on Friday seem overawed by the size of the crowd they've attracted and the vociferousness of their response, at one point, it looks like Sam Fender is so struck by the moment he might start crying, Eilish looks anything but. There's something imperious about her performance, it all feels appealingly confident. The set is essentially a truncated version of the show she's been touring around arenas in recent months, and it comes complete with pop arena show staples including dividing the audience up and getting them to cheer in turn, a lot of talk about empowerment and loving yourself, and videos of the artist as a small child playing on the big screens. But it doesn't lose anything in translation to a festival setting. If she asks the audience to crouch down and jump, they happily oblige. It's heavy on slow-moving ballads, which is theoretically risky, but she never seems to lose the crowd. Perhaps that's because Eilish is a hugely engaging performer. Moreover she genuinely appears to be enjoying herself, at odds with her pouty gothic image and the plethora of songs on her last album, Happier Than Ever, that made being a teenage pop sensation when you're barely out of her teens sound like a pretty miserable business. Her enthusiasm is infectious, her biggest hits, bury a friend, bad guy, pack an immense bass heavy punch, while the ballad Your Power, introduced with a mention of the overturning of Roe vs Wade as, a dark day for women, has a spellbinding, eerie fragility. By the time she ends with Happier Than Ever's slowly building title track, its furiously angry crescendo given an extra layer of theatricality by the sheer quantity of pyrotechnics exploding over the stage, her performance doesn't just seem like a musical shift for Glastonbury, but a triumph as well. As you're joining us today from Vietnam, we have a small favor to ask. Tens of millions have placed their trust in The Guardian's fearless journalism since we started publishing 200 years ago, turning to us in moments of crisis, uncertainty, solidarity and hope. More than 1.5 million supporters, from 180 countries, now power us financially, keeping us open to all, and fiercely independent. Unlike many others, The Guardian has no shareholders and no billionaire owner. Just the determination and passion to deliver high-impact global reporting, always free from commercial or political influence. Reporting like this is vital for democracy, for fairness and to demand better from the powerful. And we provide all this for free, for everyone to read. We do this because we believe in information equality. Greater numbers of people can keep track of the global events shaping our world, understand their impact on people and communities, and become inspired to take meaningful action. 
millions can benefit from open access to quality, truthful news, regardless of their ability to pay for it. If there were ever a time to join us, it is now. Every contribution, however big or small, powers our journalism and sustains our future. Support The Guardian from as little as $1 it only takes a minute. If you can, please consider supporting us with a regular amount each month. Thank you.